What's up Edmonton? Here today at your Edmonton Electrician with Howard Power Electrical. Uh, we're going to talk about why LED bulbs keep glowing after the switch is turned off. Uh, typically this is with a dimmer switch or a motion sensor switch, maybe a dusk to dawn switch. But uh, we're going to get into that. There's going to be a lot of big terms, but uh, you might not um, really be aware of a lot of these terms like capacitance. But uh, at the end of the day, we'll try to break it down as best as possible and explain it to you. Uh, this question came in from Corey with Big Brothers Big Sisters. Uh, thanks for the question, Corey. And uh, what a great charity too, if you ever want to donate some money to a great charity big brothers big sisters boys and girls clubs uh, of Edmonton here uh, but uh, anyways we'll get into this as your Edmonton electrician our whole mission with these vision uh, videos is to bring customer service back to the trades uh, our whole mission is powering customer service and uh, these videos are another great part that we like to uh, answer some questions give back and uh, just kind of inform our client base in Edmonton of, uh, of certain things that you might have questions about so uh, we'll, we'll get right into it here so um, if you have an LED bulb you turn off the switch and sometimes it still glows even though the switch is off you're kind of wondering well the switch is off you know why is it still throwing power well that's a great question so uh, it comes down a lot to resistance and capacitance so at, uh, at low voltages there is going to be a low amount of current kind of coming through for your LED bulb um, typically if there's no draw there's no current but uh, if there's voltage there there could be current if there's a load so at, uh, at no voltage there's going to be no current across the capacitor but uh, if you're going to have um, output voltage which is going to rise with your input voltage obviously then uh, at a low level it's going to make your bulb glow so typically manufacturers of these LED light bulbs are going to have a few components inside of, of an LED light bulb if you take it apart you're going to find a tiny little capacitor you're going to find a resistor and you're going to find Find a driver now if you don't have the resistor the long and short uh, if you don't have a resistor that's what's going to typically cause these bulbs to glow or uh, in some really cheap bulbs and uh, some specific scenarios uh, maybe flicker or flash um, just those bulbs though uh, if you have if you have a whole bunch of lights in your home that are all kind of flickering or flashing um, or maybe really really dimming quite a bit without having a dimmer switch that's typically due to poor grounding or a neutral issue uh, totally different give us a call if you want us to sort that out but um, as far as one specific LED bulb flashing or uh, glowing after it's off that's due to the actual make and manufacture of this light or um, a crummy dimmer switch kind of thing where it's just really not dimming all the way off but uh, anyways, these bulbs are going to have a rectifier, a driver, and a resistor inside of it. And uh, the driver is going to control the voltage out to the actual light emitting diodes, the LEDs in the actual uh, bulb. Um, so that driver is going to be bringing your voltage from 120 volt in, which is what you plug into your wall, uh, down to whatever that LED wants to see, 12 volt, 24 volt, depending what it is. Um, that's what the drive the driver's job is to do in that in that function there is to control that voltage uh, and then you're going to have a uh, capacitor and a resistor so the whole point of the resistor is going to make it so that capacitor doesn't store its energy a resistor's purpose is to drain that capacitor because a capacitor's job is to store energy uh, the same way you have a capacitor maybe in a car stereo system so your headlights don't dim when you get a big bass drop but uh, as far as your resistor without that resistor you can have this leakage current building up and it's going to charge up the capacitor which is then going to discharge and light up your LED bulb or if it uh, slowly discharge which is it's going to uh, cause your LED bulb to glow if that makes sense um, leakage current can come from uh, a dimmer switch uh, not necessarily a bad dimmer switch but um, really any dimmer switch can have it especially if it's at end of life or maybe it's a cheaper version um, or motion sensors if you have a dusk to dawn switch or a motion sensor switch um, any other sort of uh, specialty switch that isn't your typical on off toggle switch so if you have a decora rectangle on off switch um, that's going to be a discrete yes no on off breaking the circuit opening the circuit uh, that's going to typically kill power or your toggle switch where the little nub sticks out of the wall um, those both will de-energize power to the light provided it's wired with a neutral but uh, otherwise if you have a dimmer switch motion switch uh, dusk to dawn switch timer switch anything like that it might not be totally opening the circuit and uh, that's where you might have uh, still a little leakage current coming there uh, and that's what's going to cause these to glow so if you had um, if you were working on these lights and you have a dimmer switch motion switch yada yada switch uh, what you're gonna find is if you're working on that light you're gonna want to turn off power at the breaker 
and not at your switch. You can still get an electrical shock if a dimmer switch is actually switched off, not even slide it all the way down, but even if it's switched off, you can still get a shock at that light fixture uh, if it's not opening the if it's not opening the circuit entirely and uh, sometimes it won't be so uh, be weary of that you can find it in both ways sometimes it will sometimes it won't but uh, it, it's only easy until it's not that's why you want to call a professional electrician call an electrical contractor like us but uh, regardless off at the breaker not at the switch uh, another probable cause too that this could be is uh, is improper wiring so in really older homes or in uh, a place with poor wiring uh, you might find what's called a switch white or a switch neutral and um, what that means is that you have two wires going to your light and one wire is bringing power to the light and then the other wire coming back typically a white uh, might be carrying power right back to the switch and if the switch is open now it's breaking the return path to your source so your light's really getting power the whole time, whether that switch is on or off, it's just switching the white back to the source. So uh, that's an illegal form of wiring as per today's Canadian electrical code. Uh, so here in Edmonton, Alberta, if a new home is wired that way and an inspector seen it, uh, it would fail an inspection, but uh, you're not allowed to have switch whites. You're supposed to have a neutral at every switch. Um, if you have a switched white, it's not really a switch neutral because uh, the whole point of being neutral is that it doesn't carry any voltage or current. So uh, if it's uh, neutral and it's being switched, really it's a, a switched white, which isn't permitted by code anymore. Um, another case there, uh, if you have, like we said before, if you have your lights where they're all flashing in your home, you have repeated issues that way or all dimming in your home, um, dimming uh, being a really big power suck dimming, not just a subtle dim when you turn on a hair straightener or a heater or something like that. Um, that could be cause of poor grounding or a broken neutral somewhere, loose neutral somewhere, poor connection that way. So um, if that's the case, totally different than your LED bulb. Um, some bulbs are cheap, but um, that's in a whole nother video. But uh, yeah, if, if you have an issue like that where your bulbs uh, in your whole home are dimming or flashing, give us a call at Howard Power Electrical. We are your Edmonton electrician and uh, we do aim to please here. So uh, at Howard Power, our mission is powering customer service. And another way that we do that is these videos so at the end of the day if you do have those leakage currents where your bulbs are dimming or an LED pot light that you got off of a next day shipping website kind of sort of deal um, it's likely just a cheap light cheap bulb or cheap dimmer uh, you can use a quality part and that problem would probably go away but yeah give us a call 780-935-0622 we'd love to work with you on your next project again it's Ryan with Howard Power Electrical and uh, until next time stay safe have a good one bye guys